Bonjour les amis. Demain, vous allez faire la page 11, les exercices 22, 23, excusez-moi, 24 et 25 um, pour le travail de classe. So tomorrow, you'll be doing pages 11, exercises 23, 24, and 25 for your classwork. And that's going to be on indefinite articles. Um, indefinite means not specific. So these are articles, those are words that come before nouns, that are not specific. Um, so here, let's le learn about these. The French indefinite articles are un, une, and deux. While the use of a or an in English is determined by whether the noun that be follows begins with a vowel or a consonant sound, in French, the indefinite article used is determined by the gender of the noun and whether it is singular or plural. So, for example, um, in English, we say a cat, but we say an apple. And so we use an because the apple starts with a, and so we don't want two vowels next to each other. It sounds better to say an apple than a apple or a apple. Um, in French, they don't do that. You have un and une. Un means a or an, and une means a or an. It just depends on whether the noun that follows is masculine or feminine. So you use une with feminine and singular nouns. That means nouns that are singular, talking about one thing at a time, and are feminine. And you use un with masculine and singular nouns. And that's anything that's more than one and masculine. So you have une montre, which means a watch, which is feminine, and un roman, which means a novel, which is masculine. You use des with plural nouns, whether they are masculine or feminine. Day we usually use to mean some. Okay, so des baskets, feminine and plural, or des ordinateurs, masculine and plural. Des baskets means like tennis shoes, and ordinateur means computers. Excuse me. In negative sentences, you use de or de, apo de apostrophe, that's de apostrophe, before a vowel or a vowel sound, instead of un, une, or de. That's kind of like saying any, as in we don't have any, so it's negative. Um, so rather than saying, yes, we have some apples, you're saying, no, we don't have any apples. Um, and they give some examples here. J'ai un stylo, I have a pen. Je n'ai pas de stylo, I don't have any pens. J'ai une calculatrice, I have a calculator. Je n'ai pas de calculatrice, I don't have a calculator. J'ai des feuilles de papier, I have some paper. Je n'ai pas de feuilles de papier, I don't have any paper. Now, so this just gives you a little visual here. Un, une is feminine, un is masculine, and de is plural. It ends in s, just like an English word, and it is plural, and so that means some. And you can use that for either a uh, group of things or people that are all masculine, all feminine, or mixed. Um, now, a lot of kids ask me, how do I know when it's masculine, or how do I know when it's feminine? Well, basically, just learn it. You just have to learn it, and that means when you read your vocabulary list in the beginning of the chapter, or excuse me, your vocabulary list at the end of the chapter, um, or the copy that I give you, you'll see that each word already has an un or a une, or a le or a la in front of it, or it may have in parentheses after it, M for masculine or F for feminine. And you just have to memorize it. So please make sure that when you do your flashcards or your practice, that you use those words um, le, la, un, une, with the nouns so that you're memorizing them together. Now, another thing that you can learn is that what a suffix makes a word masculine and what suffix makes a word feminine. And the suffix comes at the end of the word. So the suffix is age, o, mon, war, and on are masculine. The feminine suffixes um, are e, yon, isme, te, uh, ur, ons, ons, and et. And there are many, many more, but these are just some that are masculine and feminine. Um, plural is some, and not a or an. So just remember that. It's different. Something plural, you use de with it, and not a or an. And a is un or un, and an. An an is un or une.
because we have different ways of determining when to use those. All right, so don't forget to do your homework this evening. Um, good luck, which is bonne chance. And I will see you next time. Au revoir.